Colleagues, distinguished participants at this event, ladies and gentlemen, I'm really glad to have the opportunity to address you today, if only via video. Allow me to express my gratitude to the Oxford Poverty and Human Development for inviting me to participate in this meeting. Ladies and gentlemen, we're in the midst of a process to define a new sustainable development framework that will succeed the Millennium Development Goals. The broad consensus emerging is really encouraging. While we transition to a new broader agenda, eradication of poverty in all of its dimensions must remain the highest aspiration. A long-term vision for the people and the planet encompassing poverty, inclusive growth and the environment. A life of dignity for all. Colleagues, it is increasingly recognized that it is feasible to eradicate extreme income poverty by 2030. This is an ambitious yet reasonable target to be considered in the post-2015 development agenda. However, eliminating extreme income poverty doesn't mean that poverty is eradicated in all its forms. Indeed, the Secretary General has stressed that the new goals should embrace the emphasis on human well-being and include the use of metrics that go beyond standard income measures. Member States are considering the need of going beyond the GDP paradigm, the possibility of using an index which would bring about the multidimensional aspects of poverty has been raised in their deliberations by countries that are already using multidimensional poverty indexes, most of them already participating in the multidimensional poverty peer network. The multidimensional poverty index, the MPI, is therefore a major innovation on measuring human well-being that provides concrete solutions for operationalizing this paradigm shift. The MPI captures the multiple deprivations that each person faces at the same time with respect to education, health and living standards, as it does assess poverty in all its dimensions as people experience it at the individual level. The MPI is suitable to be tailored and adapted to country realities. It may incorporate environmental issues and permits comparisons both across countries, regions and the world, and within countries by ethnic groups, urban, rural location, as, weather, as well as other key characteristics. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now closer to the summit in September 2015, in which the new development agenda will be agreed by world leaders. This is an agenda where keeping GDP per capita at the core, as the core indicator of progress would really re misrepresent the vision of a life of dignity for all. We need to complement income poverty measures with poverty indicators able to capture all its dimensions. This is a part of the data revolution needed. The new agenda will only be successful if it empowers people, communities, villages, grassroots organizations, local authorities, workers, businesses, and governments to participate and be agents of change. The post-2015 provides a formidable opportunity to put things right. Let's try to make that happen. Thank you.